Hello friends, today we are going to study equivalent fraction by division method. So as I told you in my earlier video that you should be dividing it by common factors. Let's take an example. 16 by 32. Now if you look at both the numbers, they can easily be divided by 2. So if I want to find out 16 by 32 equivalent fraction, what I will be doing is I will be dividing it by 2. So what will I get? 16 divided by 2 is 8. 32 divided by 2 is 16. 16 by 32 is a fraction. On both the numbers, I will divide it by 2, which will become 8 by 16. Then again, I can divide 8 by 16 again by 2, which will become 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. Again, I can divide it by 2. It will become 2 upon 4. Now, if we look at 2 upon 4, again, if we divide it by 2, it will become 1 by 2. Alright, students. So, if I have to write equivalent fraction of 16 by 32 R, I can write 8 by 16, comma 4 by 8, comma 2 by 4, comma 1 by 2. I will solve one more example, students. Suppose it is 27 by 81. Now, if we look at the number closely, we know that it can be easily divided by 3. Alright, so what I will do is, I will divide 27 by 3 and 81 by 3. So, what is the number that I will get? I will get 9 by 27. Again, I will divide it by 3. I will get 3 upon 9. Then again, I will divide it by 3. I will get 1 by 3. Therefore, equivalent fraction of 27 by 81 are 9 by 27, 3 by 9 and 1 by 3. I hope you all have understood the equivalent fraction method by division. If you all have any queries, drop it on the comment box.